So here we can see the wheel speed sensor or ABS sensor. So it's uh, fixed with uh, a bolt. I think it's a uh, uh, Allen key. If you follow the cable, so this is the front right side from the speed sensor. If you follow the cable. So there's a thinner cable and we have it's a thinner cable routed to the box. So that box is a connector is from inside the car from there and connect to the ABS or wheel speed sensor. So we can open the box and see uh, the connector and disconnect the sensor and at the lower part we remove the bolt and then we can remove the sensor. To open the box, you see uh, we have two, two clip here. So we just unclick it and then the box. As you can see it's rather uh, dirty there. Maybe we just clean it. Uh, it may be okay. So we try to clean the connector uh, this side and the other side to say if we can have the uh, ABS lights uh, indicator uh, off and we will try to do that you see there is yeah, the, the, the button here if you press the button if you press the tab here and then unplug so that's where you unplug the sensor So now I have just uh, roughly removed the uh, loose uh, dirt and I press the button and now I have uh, unclicked this. You can see there is a shape. So normally maybe it's okay. You won't uh, uh, install it in the wrong way because of the shape. And it looks pretty clean inside. So there are two connectors. Uh, looks relatively uh, clean here and uh, this is the sensor sensor size yeah and uh, we can't see clearly but uh, I think it's relatively uh, clean uh, we were going to clean the other side of the sensor so I have soaked the sensor bolt for a while and you need a five millimeter hex allen key to remove it. I just remove a bit and put a extra WD-40 uh, and it's rather tight there. After remove the, the bolt, it's very difficult to take this out. I put more WD-40 and use the uh, screwdriver, the spade screwdriver and uh, gradually uh, be careful if you uh, if you break it it's more difficult to get out so gradually I get this out so seems like that there's a sort of supply not everywhere contact with the whole uh, studio just the press uh, uh, press here press here press here press here and gradually get it out I will give it a uh, uh, clean to say if uh, okay without changing it but I will notate the part number and uh, to say if uh, I can buy another one BMW original one this must be uh, re original one like uh, 15 years ago so that's how to uh, remove it to remove totally the sensor we just have another clip so that the cable clipped on this and clipped uh, and clipped here and clip the behind uh, this uh, shock post. So now I have uh, got the uh, all the part number or any writings down here except that AT, ATC, ATE something. So this side are the number, this side there are also numbers. So I have got them down here. Just to have a look. So, uh, so we have this side the BMW HU in a circle, 
and PA56, GEF25, and also down here, R may be a right front, maybe not, doesn't matter. As a 10 dot uh, 0711 uh, 3 This is this side. The other side we got this number 3452 uh, 6752682. Uh, I think one of them must be part number. That's more likely uh, the part number. Whatever, uh, when I search the parts, if uh, anything match this and the shape match this, uh, it should be okay.